Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and in this video, I want to recommend you a few books that I think personally are really amazing. But hey, uh, my choice of book can be a little bit different from what you are thinking. Yes, there are technical books that I will recommend some of them and there are some other categories of book as well that I would like to recommend you. I personally feel that books are an amazing way of upgrading yourself but when it comes to the latest tech, sometimes books are not that much available. Like for example, right now we are working on iOS 12 and there is no book around for iOS 12. So these kinds of books are not available but definitely there are some good tech books and some must read books for every particular engineer or if you want to work in any IT company, these are must read books. Now also let me make this point that books are something like your favorite color. like. Your favorite color might be purple and somebody's might be blue and somebody's might be green. Doesn't mean that blue is wrong and green is right or red is wrong and other is right. It's all about matter of perspective. You like some books, you don't like some of them and it's, it's all about like that. So feel free to disagree with me on these books and I'm going to now recommend one by one a lot of them and I would like to mention that some of these are tech, some of these are non-tech books. I'm going to recommend all of them. In case you want to recommend me some books, I am fully open to that. I'm not a very fast reader. I like to take my time while I read a book. I just read one chapter, think about it like one or two days, uh, do a little bit research more on that and then I move on to the next chapter. And when it's a self-development book, I take my time still. I just read one chapter now and then. And then when I get some time, I read another one. So it's not like I'm a very fast reader. I don't read too often as well. But due to my traveling and stuff, uh, I read a lot here. So uh, let me recommend, let me get started here by recommending you some books, starting with the tech books. Okay, one quick thing. I don't have all these books right now here because some of them are gone. Uh, my juniors actually took some of these books. Some of them are at my home. Some of them are here. Some of them are at our training studio. So not all the books are here, but I do will post images and links for all these uh, books at the bottom. And of course, in case you are wondering, yes, all the links in the bottom are Amazon affiliate links. It helps the channel to get a little bit. No, your books is not gonna be expensive with my links. It's just a thing that when you buy a book from that, it helps me. So in case you just want to search it on your own, feel free to do that. So starting with number one book, I would recommend this book to all of you, which is Data Structure and Algorithm, a book by Corman. This is, yes, this exact book. This is one of the amazing book. I have studied it two times. Yes, uh, not like fully book. Still, I haven't completed it. I studied it for the very first time during my engineering. Yes, in the even in the electronics, this subject was there. And one next time I read it during my master's. Still amazing because, you know, some of the subjects were there like red, black trees and all of that. I know I knew it very well that they are going to come up in exam and they're important topic as well. So I had to study from this book only. I found this book is so immense, so vast that it's it's almost like impossible for uh, for me to grab all of the content in this book. Still a very high, amazing quality book. So don't just miss it in case you want to study, want a little bit about data structure, algorithm, anything. This is like by far one of the amazing book. Uh, surely some topics are like not that much explained with examples and stuff. But apart from that, algorithm wise, like it's hands down one of the best book I have ever seen on data structure and algorithm. You can support this book with any local author if you want to, uh, but I don't think so you need it. So definitely data structure and algorithm by Corman is one of my favorite ones. Next book that I studied and it helped me a lot in cracking various kinds of interviews is cracking the coding interview. So this one is the book, the big green book. Uh, one thing I would like to mention here that although this book is super amazing, even helped me in cracking down the interview questions at Amazon just like a breeze, uh, but it, this book takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. It, this book is not certainly for a people who are just getting started with any programming language like Python or Java or JavaScript. This book is not for you because this book talks about uh, how you can solve a problem in five different ways and which one is the best and which one you should opt for. So in case you are having no idea and you, you don't have experience much about creating some projects and something, this book can be a little bit scary. So don't get scared. Uh, give yourself some time with that programming language and after that, creating like 5, 10 or 20 projects. Once you understand how to solve a problem by looking into various stack overflow and stuff, then you can pick up this book to brush up your basics about data structure, uh, log n and all these things to measure the performance of your code. Really amazing, it can help you to crack down a variety of coding interviews. Of course, it requires a lot of test series, uh, backed by test series and a lot of interview questions, MCQs. 
a lot of stuff is going on there but definitely uh, this is one of the best book if you want to prepare for any coding interview and stuff be aware it can be a little bit scary at first I, I literally cried down that I don't know anything at all and this book is so scary but eventually when you spend like two weeks three weeks with this book you don't give up it becomes all easy the next book that I would like to recommend you is something that I read during my masters and this is uh, design patterns and applying UML and patterns this is one of the very amazing book that I realized later on that yes this subject is pretty impressive amazing and helps you to do a lot of uh, UML based things in case you are not much into the UML kind of things or use case kind of a things uh, you can skip that but it's something that I would recommend to all the CS engineers uh, whether whatever the branch you are studying whether that's a CS or IT in case you are doing engineering something related to computers uh, this is going to be super helpful for you. I realized that later on, uh, probably because I was not from uh, computer science in the uh, in the graduate time, but during my master's, it helped a lot. It was suggested by my professor. I literally hated that book for the very first read, uh, but eventually the book gets better. The first two chapters are, let me just honest, the first two chapters of this book has pretty like boring and stuff, but then it moves to like actual UML diagrams and use cases. It it becomes pretty amazing and awesome. So I would recommend you to check that out in case you are doing engineering and all this. But in case you want to just read it like I'm not from the background and I just want to read some programming books, you can just simply avoid this. The next book that I would like to recommend is from one of my uh, one of my friend, uh, Ben Fella. And this book is about HTML5, about how you can design something on HTML. And uh, nowadays, if you have heard that HTML5 is having canvas and you can do a lot of design patterns and stuff on the HTML only, uh, this is one of the book I would recommend not just because he's my very good friend uh, because it, this book is really genuinely very awesome I have read that uh, I got this book uh, it's it's really amazing one I would highly recommend but again be cautious this book is not somebody who is just getting started with HTML and CSS this book is for somebody who has made like few projects five or six projects with the HTML and CSS and then he wants to explore the criteria how he can a move into the canvas of HTML5. So this book is for those, not at all for beginners. If you're a beginner, want to start HTML with this, you're gonna hate this book. So let's just be clear, who is the target audience for this book? So again, hey Ben Fella, a great work with this book. Uh, I highly appreciate that. The next book that, that I would like to recommend you is something that I read in the second semester of my master's, is Cryptography and Network Security uh, by William Stalling. So this is like the core and the amazing book. I think right now we are having a seventh version of that. When I studied it, it was like fourth or fifth version or maybe maybe later on that. Uh, I guess third or fourth version. I'm not pretty sure, but that was kind of time. But yes, it is one of the amazing book. I highly recommend all of you, all the security enthusiastic to just go ahead, dig up into this book. You will learn a lot about how these things work, how the SHA algorithm works and how these WEP, WPA and all these algorithms and how these actually everything, the mechanism of these workable things are actually working. Pretty good, very clear book and I don't think so that any author can make these complex algorithm any much more clearer. Help me a lot in understanding the mechanism that's going behind any algorithm at all. And these are not just basic algorithm, these are mostly like encrypting algorithms and security related things. Uh, the book also covers up a lot about uh, Kubernetes as well and, and tons of other things related to Linux as well. So it's really a well diverse book, uh, must read for all the security enthusiastic. If you haven't read that, I think you are missing a lot of information. So go ahead, uh, buy this book by William Stalling. Uh, this is like the holy grail of entire cryptography and uh, information security. I would say get started from here, you'll get a lot in this book. You cannot go wrong behind this book. I don't know author personally, I have never met, I would love to meet him, but this this book is by far the best book in information security you can ever have. Now moving forward, I know we have discussed a lot about the tech books and video is getting longer, so we need to move on to another uh, categories of book, which is my like self-development books. Surely, if you will recommend me enough in the comment section, I would like to make another list on the tech books that I've studied. I have studied a lot of them. So now let's move on to another category of book, which is self-development. So the very first book that I would like to recommend you in the self-development is Time Management by Brian Tracy. Like this book actually works. It, it has so many intense uh, things and advice that it can give you. It just changed your entire perspective and you cannot go wrong with Brian. He's a very well-reputed author. 
a uh, really good book in case you are into time management stuff because i am quite a lot into it i i know and i really want to manage my time really almost perfectly so this is the book which changed my entire perspective so this is the one i would recommend you to get started with since we are talking about the category in self development there is one guy who you cannot avoid which is david allen and there is a book by david allen known as get things done David Allen is like the most famous face on the world of books and whenever he is on the cover the book actually has got something important and something awesome in it and this is the one book which I am quite uh, fond of which is getting things done a very amazing book super productive pushes you beyond your limit has a lot of insight and tips uh, probably I can do all the reviews individually for these books as well uh, but right now i would say that hey just just go for this this one is also pretty amazing now apart from this there are a couple of books that i still am on the way of reading it the first one is the crush it some of you have already seen that in my studio tour i'm not done it with uh, with it only just two chapters done it's it's a pretty uh, thin book but still i take my time in reading the books i don't get much time so this is the one right now i'm reading it by gary v uh, he's pretty influ influential person so I just wanted to check it out. So far, it's like I am not into the book, so I cannot tell you it's good or bad. I'm just two chapters into it, so I cannot make a judgment onto it. Another one is from a local author. I picked it up from an airport. This is by Dr. Vijay Agarwal, Time Management for Students. Uh, it's just okayish book. It's it's like very repetitive. Um, I don't think so. I'm gonna recommend it or not, but it's it's you can avoid this one. Then there is an amazing another book which is zero to one this is about moreover startups and what you should do what you should not do pretty pretty amazing pretty influential and this is not just for the startup this is about any business that you are creating any youtube channel you are creating helps a lot in that uh, anything that you are doing and getting started in that whether that's learning anything or anything this book really helps so i can recommend that one as well and there is one book that you can check it out this is time management by ramesh kerora i again picked it up from uh, airport I finished it up just on one flight it was a pretty good book uh, I can recommend you uh, because there are some really good tips for the students and beginners so it's it's one of the book that you can find out it was really really cheap book uh, like not in the content but in the pricing it's just 175 so I think with the 175 this is like amazing information that you can get so I would recommend Ramesh Kerora so you can grab that one uh, another book that i have read recently is the public speaking the art of public speaking pretty good some of the good advice because i do talk a lot at conferences events and even i talk a lot on youtube as well so there are some good tips into this book i finished i've already finished this book it was during uh, my entire italy no it was entire my greece trip uh, that i did it it was pretty good it gave me some really good tips that i can apply in my day-to-day -day life so these are some of the books that I would recommend all of you to have a look if you want to check it out. Some of these books I'll put a link in the description section below. Some of them I just picked up on the internet so I'm not sure I'll be able to find the links for Amazon or not. Again if you find them somewhere else as well go ahead pick them up. Reading is something which is important. Now since last one year or so I'm not getting much time to read the books I really want to but now things are getting super busy. Uh, with YouTube stuff and recording videos and all of that but definitely I'll make that in my again in my entire workflow that I should spend some time in reading I'm a big fan of reading and upgrading yourself and especially you should everyone should read some books on self-development as well because it's an essential part I know I'm a big fan of coding and programming but you know you can be much more productive in learning whatever you are learning when you know yourself much better and these books opens an entire much bigger criteria of exploring yourself so Go ahead, read on, learn more. So I hope some of you have enjoyed my collection of books, which is not a really big. Uh, but yeah, some of them which I have recently read and still do have a memory about them. If you want to recommend some book to me, I would be really, really happy. So let me know in the comment section below which book you have read recently and what are your views about it. Uh, let's have an open and healthy discussion about the books. It's really rare, but let's have it in the comment section. I'll check out each and every comment, especially on this particular video. So make sure you post down whatever that book is. Even that can be a comic because I have read a lot of them. So just post down that. Okay, so that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.